After my divorce, I've been single for about five years, so I thought it was time to have some romance or action by using fuel. I met a Russian woman with whom I spent some great days, and I didn't mind paying for her. The story started last summer in a big Russian town. When my brother married his Russian woman, and the whole family traveled from the Netherlands to Russia to join in the party. A few months later, the initial plan to invite her to the Netherlands failed because the visa request was rejected. As a result, we met in Turkey because she needed a visa to travel there. I was excited to meet her. She made a good impression on my family and me, but the trip to Turkey was a disappointment. She didn't even seem excited to see me when I met her at the airport. Not only did I pay for her flight tickets, but I also paid for her hotel accommodations. If you ever hear stories about Russian men hitting their Russian women, please take this into consideration. Touching her was nearly impossible, because it had to be done exactly the way she wanted it to avoid a violent reaction. If that wasn't the case, she even hit me when I accidentally put something in the wrong place. After a few heated discussions, we decided to try to make the rest of our trip as joyful as possible and start over. However, Touching her was practically hard, because it had to be exactly the way that she wanted else she would react angrily. If it wasn't, she would enter every store she liked though, with the expectation that I would pay for it, and so on. She explained that I had to pay since I was being the guy when I questioned why she expected me to pay for everything. In response, I said that if that was the case, I expected her to cover everything. I believe that you will have a better understanding of her personality now that you are back at home. Although the fact that the Russian female companionship turned out to be a psychotic gold digger was a major letdown, I can now laugh about her extreme behavior. I also have some ideas that you might want to comment on, including number one. I believe that you will have a better understanding of her nature now that you are back at home. I was able to look back on this experience as if a woman is fertile and wants to have children, but she is beyond the age of say 35 and she is still childless she has a very high probability of having some form of significant psychological and physical problems, which diminishes her chance of achieving a stable long-term relationship. The second piece of advice is that you should never give a woman a second reward, such as a free supper or present, if she has not provided anything in return for your initial investment. There are no exceptions to this rule. Number three, it can be difficult to deal with the attention that pretty and younger women from other countries, such as Russia, give you. However, these women are similar to other women in terms of their general nature as females and you will certainly face additional challenges, such as communication barriers. Immigration and visa issues, expensive airfare to meet her, a restricted amount of time together all contribute to a difficult situation. The fourth position, when I refuse to buy her something, for instance, I wouldn't negotiate, but I would tell her to wait for Santa Claus, because I didn't like to be the old bearded man. Sarcastic humor helps put a woman in her place. For example, when I refused to buy her something, I wouldn't negotiate, but I would tell her to wait for Santa Claus. In general, women do not have a good sense of humor, and if you try to use it against them, they will not be able to compete with you. It is paradoxical since, on many Tinder profiles and other dating profiles, women looking for guys who have a good sense of humor. Number five, when you remain in the same hotel room for multiple days in a row, it may be very revealing. It is strongly recommended that, that you have an exit strategy in case it all fails, and you should consider cancelling your hotel room without incurring any financial penalty. I've advanced one degree higher on the MGTOLI scale. Many thanks, and best regards it appears that this was a very expensive mistake on your part, but the fact that you were able to learn so much from it makes it seem like it wasn't so expensive after all. I've briefly dated women, like the one that you describe. They string you alone for cash and prizes and hope that you won't notice where they aren't interested in you. This has only happened to me a few times and after the second date, I stopped talking to them, deleted their Facebook profiles entirely and unfriended them on any social media sites. I also find it interesting how you called her out and then she agreed to sleep with you and maybe basically put her in her place because at that point she was essentially a prostitute and it was pretty much in the open. However, with regards to her period, how do you know that she didn't dye her tampons with her red lipstick? If it were me, I would have tried to salvage the trip and done my own thing 
and left her by herself in the hotel room. My experience with women is that for the majority of my life, I haven't actually given them anything, and yet they continue to hang around. This may be because they had low self-esteem or were hoping for a bigger payday in the future, but I refuse to pay for dinners except on special occasions like holidays and birthdays, and I never had trouble finding dates later. Women are never appreciative and frequently incredibly ungrateful when you do nice things for them, contrary to what you might think. I've learned a long time ago that you can't make women happy when you try to make them happy. Instead, they will attempt to make you miserable. This is what happened to you in Turkey when you tried giving her the time of her life and it backfired. I'd advise against dating women from other nations since they're just using you for their financial gain. Long distance relationships also don't work because she'll end up pitting someone at home because she'll become bored. The advice everyone gives is to keep them in their own countries because the moment you take them out, they become hypergamous and westernized. I'm glad that you recognize that women are the same everywhere, but I just want to make it clear to everyone listening that finding a foreign woman to date or possibly marry will typically end in tears. The fifth thing you wanted me to comment on was that spending time with a woman in a hotel room reveals a lot about her in my last major relationship. If I had used that as any indication, I never would have moved in with her in the first place. Yes, you should have an escape plan, or at the very least, as I mentioned, elope. Women expect men to pour unlimited amounts of energy into a relationship while simultaneously sitting back and watching that monkey man dance around. I believe you have learned a lot overall. Don't date foreign ladies and don't purchase women's products. Live with a woman in a hotel room to get a sense of her personality. Women over 30 or 35 who are still single are typically nuts and women utilize males as their source of fun since they lack a sense of humor themselves. The only reason a woman is with you is because of your status or wealth, both of which can vanish overnight along with her. You lose your job, or she returns to Western Europe only to find a better man. I would also add that if a woman isn't trying to get in bed with you almost immediately, she isn't into you all that much. Additionally, if she is noticeably younger than you, then obviously she can find herself a younger and hotter guy. When you bargain for an Eastern woman, you're really getting a caged tiger. The moment you let it loose in your own country, it will maul you keep women in their country of origin to whatever you have to do with them, and then shoot them away with a broom, probably if they could take what you have. And basically, you're getting a fat woman in the East who's easy like fat women used to be in Western countries. That's it for today. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos. Take care.